Welcome back. Still working here at the village. I uh, been doing a little bit of landscaping and laying things around. Kind of setting up the roads. Like this one's going to go straight through here. All the way back to these farms here. And then this way. I'm still kind of putting the farms over on the edge near the wall because. I think the center of the village is over there, so I'm not going to get any villagers over on this side. Although they keep wandering around and getting stuck in holes and stuff, so maybe they will come over here. Not figured out what to do with this. I think I'm going to swing this thing around and maybe just run a path through here on this side of the house. Oops. I've got another garden marked out here, so I'm going to kind of build it like I did the other one. I need to get some uh, gates or trapdoors to go over those just to get them looking nice. Two, three, four. Let's do not that I need all the light. But if I can keep it just oops, consistent, that would be good. And through here, one, two, three. And do one, two, three. And that should be good because I got this one here. Then I can just do like that. There and there. Not bad. Started on the fixing that house over there, which we'll do right after we get all this put in. So one, two, three. So I can go four here. Actually, that works out good. Planning without even planning. Because I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the water here will go four, and the water over there will go four. And the water streams end up being right where the pumpkins are. I like to say I planned it that way, but I didn't. It just kind of happens. I need... I need some water. Where'd the water go? I know I've got buckets somewhere around here. Uh, it's nighttime anyhow. Let me find my buckets and then be back in a minute. I found my water buckets. So we'll just... Make a water supply here. Oh, that wasn't very smart. There we go. And a water supply there. Now I should be able to hoe the ground. Oops. this and we will have another harvestable garden. I'm kind of planting heavy on the wheat because I can use the bread to feed the villagers. I'm not sure if the villagers... I'm going to have to check the trades on the villagers to see do they want to trade carrots or wheat or Hey, so we'll do that and that. And this one we'll do potatoes and a carrot and some seeds and a carrot and potato and the seeds and some seeds. Oh, I'm out of seeds. So, uh, 
we'll just plant it all out with carrots or potatoes, whatever I have. There, another garden done. Oh, I never did get those. Did I put a workbench over here? No, I did not. Oh, I do have that, which has nothing useful in it. Let's do this. I'm going to need a crafting bench over here anyhow. Actually, that corner looks perfect for a crafting bench. It's like just sitting there going, put a crafting bench here. I'm empty and I need a crafting bench. I'm not sure what the um, corridor is going to be made out of. Oops, maybe some... Oh, maybe some kind of rock. Yeah, I think some kind of rock. Just not quite sure what kind. Oh, is that it? I think I've got... Oh, there's more pumpkins over here. So I need to put lights here. And I really need... Oh, I need some more fencing over there. So I guess next will be fencing. I tore that apart accidentally. So let's just grab a handful of these and a few of these. We should be able to make an offense. Oh, we got another achievement or more recipes. We've been unlocking recipes left and right here. So I think I'm going to run the fence all the way out this way. And then maybe like that. Because like I said, I think I'm going to run the road. So right about there would go another... Another one of these. If I get some sandstone, do the road this way. Like that. That'll work. And then in here, I don't need all this. I may go find some sheep or something to occupy the area. Should be able to just do that. That ties in nicely. And I just use some of these extra. Oh, I know what it's going to do. I've got a couple pumpkin seeds here. I think I'm just going to put, got to be quick, a pumpkin there, there, a pumpkin there, I did not get myself way out, well, I can go through the butcher shop like everybody else. So the road will go this way. Actually, yeah, I think the smooth sandstone would be kind of nice. Make it look nice like that. There. And it kind of matches the wall over there. And once again, did not plan that, it just happens. I'd like to say that's just expertise, but um, it's just it's more luck than expertise. Let's get some more trapadors. So let's just do this. So I'm going to need quite a bit of trapdoors anyhow, so I'll put the fence over there. 
Actually, it was just temporarily. We're going to just uh, stick all this stuff in here that I don't need. Don't need the carrots anymore. I'm done with the hoe. I just need some jack-o'-lanterns. Don't need any sticks. Don't need potatoes. Oh, I need this orange carpet. Because I'm going to go up here. And I need to put some permanent stairs in. But orange carpet goes here. Let's see, make sure I've got enough light. I do. So I did finally go through and fix up uh, the rest of the wall around here. So this wall is topped off and lit. So I think we're good up here. Not good down below in the village, though. Because I've got a lot of dark spots. And as you see, I've only started on... And it's going to be a long journey. Because I didn't... Uh, well, I realized, but this is a bit bigger. It's quite a big place right here. None of that is well lit at all. This area over here is lit. I need to have lighting through, you know, those will be fine, but I need to add some lighting through there, add some lighting through there, and add lighting in here. I'm still not sure about down here if it's lit. And I may need to do, I've got those, I might need to do something on the wall there for lighting. But I do need to do a lighting check. So I'll just run around with F3. Just put anything, you know. Maybe I'll just, you know, run around with a bunch of orange wool and just put a marker down wherever I think the light is not sufficient. Because I do not want zombies. I've already had in the break here an accident, which I didn't catch on camera because I was in a panic utter panic to get it fixed. But what happened? And I think I'll tell you this little story and then we'll be gone for the day. So what happened was I, I uh, spawned in and I was over on the hills um, up here someplace and it was dark. So I kind of ran around and got over to the bed and slept. And I kept hearing zombie moaning, zombies. Well, my friend over here, if you notice this is a little different, my friend was a zombie. So if you remember, I just had these two wooden blocks here. I think what happened is a zombie came in through the corner and touched him and turned him into a zombie. So needless to say, I was in a panic because that's my mending guy. But luckily, I just happened to have some extra stuff, like gold. And I had a splash potion of weakness back at the castle. So what I did is I just jumped through the portal, which de really quickly. Ran over there, grabbed him, came back. And luckily he did not despawn in that time. Oh, I've got a bed. So I was saved. But you should have said I was just sweating bullets. Didn't even have time to record it because I was in a panic of just get it done. But, and it's night time. So as night sets, and before any more zombies come, I'm going to call a night. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode where we will be finishing up this house over here. So thanks, and have a good day. Bye-bye.